Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little bit of a different kind of video today. I'm hand holding my camera, so I apologize if I at any time make you make you seasick. But this is a uh, viewer request video for my for my friend Char. Hi Char, thank you, sweetie, for this uh, suggestion of a video. She asked me to do kind of a 360 from my chair to kind of show you all what all is on my desk, what is right at hand for me to work with and that sort of thing. So I thought about cleaning up and then I thought, no, <laughs> nope, you're just going to see it as it is. So I'm in the midst of my boho journal. So let's see. So I am I am actually scooted back from my desk. You can see that, but I couldn't I couldn't I was too close sitting where I actually sit. So I'm going to show my uh, right around my desk what all I have right at hand and then also I'm going to show my video videoing setup, my filming setup because there's been a lot of questions about that too. So this is my spot. You can see my glass mat right there. And I've got my boho journal that I'm working on right there. And so let's sort of, let's see, we'll start in, how about we start in the middle right here? So um, I'm moving my chair up. I'm sorry if you're going to be sick, sick in this, in this video, but okay. So there's my workspace right in front of it. I have, do you see the pink? Um, that is a, a locker shelf. And I got it at, I think, one of the discount stores or um, maybe uh, office supply place. And so under that, I have all of my um, ephemera books. Let's see if I can, sorry. Let's just scoot up for a second. So it's these, the ephemera books. This is one that I just got in Happy Mail that I'm starting to fill. This is my Tracy Fox one that we made a few days ago. These are my stamps, all of my, all of my various postage stamps in there. So those are right up ahead of my workspace so I can easily easily grab them on the top of that shelf maybe I'll stand up here I have little bit boxes so this is a new one that I got from my friend J uh, Jenny in Happy Mail so um, I haven't filled that yet but this red box has has some words in it. It has a variety of little little bits in there. Um, and then this beautiful little piece my friend Michelle gave me, and it has words printed on muslin. And um, and then this one has not much in it, just a few little things. Uh, so I'm room to grow there, I guess. And then this little book, book type box, which also came in Happy Mail, has, um, it has some, uh, it's got, oh yes, this one has, this one has a lot of muslin, um, words and things too. So basically I think the muslin or, and, or fabric are in these two then this is little bits this has the um coffee dyed words and then this this little box remains to be seen <laughs> right now in this space i have my sorry my finger was in there uh my big bucket that has all of my boho stuff in it and I've thrown things that I'm working on on top of the bucket. There's the snippet trims. Um, whatever project I'm working on, this that little space is where I keep my extras that I can just pull from, from my workspace. Um, on the wall here, I have a couple things from Addie and Kate. You'll recognize Addie's down, down 
at the bottom and then this one's Katie's up at the top and then I've got um, this is an old vintage uh, clothespin holder and it holds all of my binding stuff so this is all my book binding stuff in here and so it's easy easy for me to grab too of course my either my cup of sunshine or my this is my happy place cup with my water is always at the ready too and then in the corner um let me go back a little bit on the corner there i have this three-tiered shelf in the corner of my desk and on the top is my daily journal which is this one um, some extra notepads and things I've gotten in Happy Mail and then my gratitude journal is back there. I've been absolutely horrible about my own journaling, but you know, I, I have a break from it and then I get back to it. So as far as writing journaling, you know, I'm, I'm more into the glue book and the, and the junk journal friends correspondence and that kind of thing. But anyway. So this little sack is some fall leaves from last fall and a rose that I sometimes make tags out of, put in between acetate. This is all kind of uh, mixed media stuff, um, alcohol, my Goo Gone, my gesso. Then this is like hand cream and stuff. This little book, it's kind of funny. This book is this is my book where I write down my four people I'm gonna say hi and hugs to every day. Cause I write them down because I think then maybe I won't uh, repeat and we'll try and get everybody in there. Um, I don't even know what that is. These are alcohol wipes. And then down on this shelf, which is the one that I use the most, um, a few things let's see if I can lay my elbow down and this little bag has uh, coffee dyed um, index cards and Rolodex cards to kind of grab and use as scrap things you know like when I have leftovers I can pop them on there I have a bunch of um, fabric and stuff most of that is from uh emily at vintage polka polka dot shop on etsy i have some double-sided tape there and then these are all my fabric washies and these are ones i've made and then there's some more alcohol wipes that jenny just sent me so that's there um let's see i think i'm gonna have to go up from up so i don't blind you with the i have an ot lamp here and then one on one sorry seasick one on the other side that's what provides the light for my space where i craft so i have the overhead lights on and then those two alt lights okay i'll try and move a little more gently <laughs> this time okay so this little this little shelfy thing holds my martha stewart punches and my rat bunny collection those are gifts from people in happy mail and there's a little gift um i've got on my wall let me back up for a second i'm gonna fall over my chair i just know it um on my wall i have all sorts of mixed media stuff and gifts from friends and happy mail and stuff and then that continues on this wall and some of those let's see let's see these two um i got at i i purchased those but then um let's see if i can go back those those are all mine that i i did back in my mixed media days i have a little card up on that one let's see if we can zero in on him a little bit that i got in happy mail and it just cracks me up. It says, Harold realized the ruffle was a mistake. So it's just, it's just so cute. It made me laugh. So I kept it. Okay. We're going to come back down. So the Martha Stewart and all that, and then hopefully I didn't blind you too badly. So then on this side, see, there's my work mat just to keep giving you reference of where we're at. 
That little uh, tin drawer uh, piece has washi tape in it. I have my jar that has my cutters, extra scissors, tweezers, pen, bone folder, that sort of stuff. And then these are kind of all the supplies that I use like all the time. So I have my Tim Holtz tiny attacher there. I have all my distress inks, my archival ink, my three favorite glues, my corner cutter. So that's kind of what lives there. So, so, so far we have only looked at that much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get you out of that light. There, then just right to my right is my sewing machine. So that's how I'm able to grab it and pull it over into the, um, into the camera. That is my 1975 Singer. <laughs> my other one's still in the shop. So, so we're, we're making do with the Singer. Um, behind that, I have a little thing that has upside down Fabri-Tax. <laughs> extra scissors, all of my rulers, my tear rulers and stuff, and plastic mats for doing mixed media stuff, extra sponges, my letter openers in there, just a variety of stuff. Okay, so still going to the right. So there's my sewing machine. Egad, there is my, that's my scraps. <laughs> I think you've all had a great idea about me making up some packets for y'all in my Etsy. So I may start to work on that. But those are all the, um, let's see, the plastic bags that I showed you the other day. Okay. So that's there. Then right down here is a squirt bottle. Those two suitcases there are stuff that needs to actually probably go somewhere else it's um oh it's like corrugated cardboard torn scraps of that that kind of stuff i i never i mean it's it's a sort of a what would you say a focused use like if i'm going to get into those it's because i'm doing a particular project so what i really need to do is move those somewhere away from me where you know i don't because I could use that for something I need while I'm sitting at my desk, right? So right down there, that is my glue book and extra pages, extra books down there. There's also another box under there you can kind of see, and that is flowers. Again, something I need to move away from my desk. So thank you, Char. I'm, I'm reorganizing in my mind as I, as I talk. Okay, so if we turn this way, see there's there's the entrances into my family room. If we turn this way, I actually can, oops, sorry, I keep putting my finger there when I change hands here. But um, this over here has stamp pads, distress pads, washi and stuff. When I reach for my washi, that's where I'm reaching. And I can pretty much get to that from my chair. Okay, now I'm going to come back, but I'm going to try and do it slowly so I don't make you sick. There's the sewing machine. There's those little shelves back to center, right? Okay, excuse me while I get my chair moved a little bit. Okay, okay, so that was center. So now going to the left, uh, we have all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Right now, this is all my um, beaded trims that I am using to work on my boho. So that's all to the left right now. But um, normally what we have, the, I have a three shelf bookshelf there, which I can't, I'm going to move my arm there. See there, goes all the way up. So down on the desk, I have a couple of bags that have thread and um, thread and bobbins in them. The next one is um, is punches that aren't Martha Stewart. Next to that is my little box of tickets, and then this messy shelf is is a mess. I really need to do something about it. 
but it's all my kind of my snippets of stuff so when i'm reaching up for a little bit of lace or a little bit of twine or something it's up here and kind of in the corner is my crop -it aisle and then up here yet more punches little punches those are little and then this little basket has um, has a bunch of these little doilies, which I put on my journals that I sell. This is kind of my, sort of my Etsy basket in a way. Has got, usually I've got some business cards in there, some um, ribbon and those doilies for wrapping up, um, for wrapping up my, my uh, journals. And then there's some washi tape here. Not my favorite washi tapes. Probably need to de-stash those. Okay, and then there's there's some bunny stuff that I've gotten in Happy Mail. Okay, so then right to the side of me here. Let's see, I need to move back a little bit. I've got um, two boxes full of stamps. Mostly acrylic, some rubber stamps. My definition stamps are back there. So all of those are kind of right at hand. And now I have my little paper stuck in between. That's my Stampin' Off paper that one of my subbies suggested doing. So I've been doing that. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then, then it gets a little crazy. Sorry, I can't quite get the, There we go. Got those in there. Okay, so... So right now, that's what's living there. Okay, so then right to my left hand is the beginning of my tall table. So this table is at kind of a little higher than waist height so that I can stand and craft too, not just sit. Um, so uh, let's start at the top of it and I'll go as far as my arm reaches. How about that? Okay, so these two little boxes have um, have stamps and my tiny scissors, clips, uh, some acrylic um, stamp thingamajiggies. Uh, these are kind of like my my most used stamps. Like my kind stamp is in here, my bunny stamp is in here, my made by Gail. That's my new diffuser. It's spouting out focus just as we speak. <laughs> Behind that is my milk jug that's full of water and my paper towels. Those are uh, right at hand in case I need water. You might recognize this scary basket that is full of projects that, bits and pieces that just need to be made into ephemera. Oh my gosh, I need to have a little session with that. Okay, and then my Tim Holtz scissors, my heat gun, and right now a pile of stuff here that's just little bits and pieces. This is a pile of Happy Mail that I still haven't put away yet. Um, I was making things with that. Extra glues up here. Um, my jars in the back there for Mod Podge and for paint. Then there's my little tubs of that I usually put ephemera in. I have these couple of things for my boho journal, but that's it at this point. I need to make some stuff. Behind that is some Tim Holtz washi. Um, and up here, uh, these are templates for spines. And that's about... And then there's some flowers and random stuff up there. That's another one of those locker thingamajiggies, lock, locker shelves. And then this little basket in this tin um, is my Made by Gales. In here is my thank yous, those for Etsy. I put the slides in here because I didn't know where else to put them. I have little bits right there and then some a few laces there. So... So that's what's on top of the table. And then see, I kind of have a work surface here. This is wh where I was drying some of those brush show papers that we did several days ago. Okay, so that's what's up above. And so like as I'm opening Happy Mail here and I need to get it out of my way, when I say I'm going to put it on my other table, that's what I'm talking about. 
Okay, so let's go under the table, which is scary and I can't believe I'm showing you, but I'm going to. So down here, see my table is on cement blocks. And so my garbage bags live in the cement block. You can see my trimmer there. I have um, my uh, heat gun and my little iron. And then the red and black is a box of 9 by 12 envelopes, which is, as you know, what I use for bases of, of covers a lot of times. This is right by my left knee. It's um, three drawers in a little box and my dad made that so that's special special to me you can kind of see some green fabric at the back of that right right Let's see if i can get in camera right there that is a big bag that has all my beading stuff because i haven't done beading forever um the drawers have the bottom drawer has um tablecloths and such for uh, photographing things for Etsy or doing my flip throughs of my journals. The middle drawer has sewing notions in it, extra needles, um, seam rippers, you know, that kind of stuff. And the top drawer, maybe I can open it here without, the top drawer has word stamps in it. So that is that's the beginning of that and then just right to my left I have this drawer thing the bottom is um, stamping up stamps the middle drawer of that is uh, sort of extra mediums like gesso and stuff oops sorry I'm not I'm I'm looking, but you need to be able to see. And then background stamps from my mixed media days. Then this scary drawer has charms and wood things and stuff like that in there. And then over here, <gasps> look what happens when you when you go into your room. You know what this is? This is my boho box. So what I have on my desk isn't all the boho I have, so I need to go through that. Alrighty then, will do. And then, let's see, this one is, what is this one? Ugh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> this one I know has all my ephemera making stuff. This one is stencils. And then up here, this, this, and this have bits of lace in it. So those are right there. Here's my scoreboard. Here's my um, baby wipes. Um, little pads of paper there, which I don't really use as I like needing to move and use. But this is my scrap basket for collage. So that's right there at my hand as well. So then the only other thing to really show you is like underneath, see those Christmas bags? That's all my Christmas stuff. So all my Christmas stuff is kind of shoved under the table until that time of the season. Um, also kind of within reach, I have these the, the drawers that I'm showing you, the white drawers, you really have to get to from the other side of the table, but up above, that basket is um, all eco-dyed stuff, and then the one behind it is book pages. So I can get to those from this side of the table. And as well, behind, behind my paper towels, I have my Tim Holtz stamping platform, some stencils, or uh, yeah, some stem templates or stencils, and then some wax paper back there at the ready to grab as well. So I think that is that about that about shows you <laughs> what I've got as far as a 360 look. Now I want to talk to you about my filming and I'm going to pull, swing it back over. So what I have and you guys both of these pieces are on my favorite things on my website but see this arm here. 
I have that arm. It's a U green arm. And like I say, you'll find it in the favorite things. And see, it just attaches to the table. You just screw it tight onto your table. And it comes up and over. You know, you can adjust it. It swings. It swings, which is really nice. So when I'm not filming and crafting, I can swing it over to the side and get it out of my way. But when I am filming, it's right there. Now, I will tell you... Let me just grab this. I'm sorry if I jiggle you, but that arm came with this, um, this piece to hold the phone. Well, it didn't work for me because I watched my time on my phone and it covered it up. I mean, I couldn't see the time. So I took that off and I have instead this little it's called an octopus so you can see it's got three legs and I have them wrapped around the top of my arm and it has uh, a holder for my phone that I can see the time right there so that works perfectly for me um, and so like when I do giveaway videos and show the screen I just take off this little octopus part and and this and I put it on my floor tripod and then just you know point my phone toward my computer so that works great so basically my phone is is as as you see this my phone is just like that do you see what I'm saying I hope so Anyway, it's been a great it's been a great setup for me and I actually learned about the arm. I learned about it from um Liz Smith at Mrs. Cogs. So, you know, once again, it's just the community of sharing and giving ideas and everything and so it's perfect. It's perfect. So, so that's it, guys. That's that's my space. That's where I create and everything else pretty much is just storage. But boy, am I tickled that I found that extra extra project box of boho stuff. I'm going to pull that out and we're going to have some fun in the next boho um, video. So, so thanks everybody so much for watching. I know this one's a little shorter, but I hope it's helpful to see what I have right at hand and... Um, and I, I will say that when I do my videos, I do try to collect all the things from around my room that I need for that particular um, project. I don't always succeed. As you know, sometimes I'm hopping up and going to the other side of my room to grab something. But I try to grab everything that I'm going to need and, and or it's already right at hand. So hope that's helpful. Hope that was what you were looking for, Char. And like I say, as far as the filming setup, uh, those pieces are right on my Gail's Favorite Things. And my website will always be in the description box under the video. So there you have it. Thanks, everybody. We'll just see you next time. Bye-bye.